Hey everyone, it's Tim Sheaf here with The Way of the Rope and today I'm going to be reviewing your guys' rope flow practice. So, I asked you guys to submit to me through The Way of the Rope app some of your rolling practice so that I can have a look at it, offer feedback on what can help one person could help 100 people on this YouTube channel. So, let's have a look at and find someone's practice. Okay, so we've got Courtney here. Courtney Y, Courtney with a K. She's asking for drag and roll feedback. So let's have a look at this now. Okay, first thing, we see a head. This is, this is a very easy fix that can help so many people with their practice. One of the most common early mistakes, and it's totally understandable, is that we don't have any focus with our eyes. Now, if we're dancing, we're doing martial arts, we're doing any sport, football, archery, whatever it is, golf, we always have a target with the eyes, the ball, target, whatever, whatever it is, the audience, there's, there's something we want our eyes to focus on. When we roll rope, often we're, we're so internal, which is fine, you know, you can roll with your eyes closed. But if we choose a target with the eyes and with the dragon roll, we can either look straight on or we can choose left side or the right side. I prefer to look well, in the overhand direction, but it doesn't really matter. But this would just, one, it would make her practice look better, but she would also feel much more balanced in her head because if your head's moving around like that, there's no internal, your internal balance is going off all over the place. So your equilibrium is getting thrown around. So let's see what else. Yeah, so just the head is the main thing. The dragon roll looks all right. The hands are going up and down quite a lot, which is another, another thing I'd say. But other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, the hands are coming up way above the shoulders, which is rolling. She's got a good rock with her hips. She's shifting her weight nicely. Let me just see if I can demonstrate for you guys. So, see my head rocking around all over the place, or if I choose to look at you, now my whole body is organizing around my focus, my eyes, my brain, my balance, right? Or I can look to the side, drag and roll, look ahead. So the head is the first thing. We don't want to be all over like this. It just help the body to have familiarity every time you roll. And the second thing, was the hands were going up and down quite a lot. We want to try, see my hands don't really come, maybe level with my shoulders, maybe just slightly above my shoulders is okay. But the, the oscillation of my hands shouldn't be much more than half a foot, maybe a foot. If it's going up to two feet and the hands are, as our eyebrows are down to our hips, that's something we want to work on. And the way to do that is to focus on rib rotation rather than whipping. We're used to whipping because when we skip rope, we whip. Rope flow is different. We're using horizontal rotation for vertical oscillation to create the vertical oscillation of the rope. So my hands stay fairly level, keep them pretty much level and still drag and roll, eyes focused. So, thanks Courtney for submitting that. I think we'll leave that for today. If you guys wanna have your form feedback reviewed to help you, to help other people around the world as well, in the, in the Wear the Rope app, in the Rope Flow group chat on the homepage, you can join in, submit your footage, and I hope to see you there. I'm gonna get on with my sweaty, Music practice, I've been enjoying this, just putting on some Bluetooth wireless headphones. I know I don't really wear them outside of this practice, but they really work well for a rope for practice. So Bluetooth headphones, put some music on, and I'm practicing rhythm. That's how we can go beyond just the patterns. This for me is, is taking this practice so much deeper. Okay, you can have just the basic patterns, underhand, overhand, matadors, dragon rolls, put on some music, and you can add in some rhythm to it. Add in some bobbing in between the beats, on the half beats, however you want to do, but music can really take your practice to another level, but it makes it more play. When we're playing, that's the secret to mastery. So, good luck, guys. Hope to see you in the next video.